now to the race for Baltimore's next mayor. A new Baltimore Sun University of Baltimore poll shows a tight race between former Mayor Sheila Dixon and State Senator Catherine Pugh. The polls show if the Democratic primary were to be held today, Pugh would carry 26% of the vote to Dixon's 24%. David Warnock rounded out the top three. 11 News reporter Vanessa Herring attended the first mayoral debate tonight. She joins us live from Morgan State University. Hi, Vanessa. Although this event was billed as a debate, we didn't see the candidates really challenging each other on the issues. However, the nine people that were on stage did share their plans from everything from police reform to education and housing. Despite being engaged in a tight race, there weren't any fiery exchanges between the two front runners at tonight's debate. But learning how from the business community, being a business developer, also working in a bank, but working in private industry. But let me just say to you, everything that I've done to this point has prepared me to be the next mayor of this city. I know what it takes to move this city forward. I have not only the vision, the plan, but I can execute the plan day one. Businessman David Warnock rounded out the top three in the latest poll. When it came to education, Warnock and City Councilman Carl Stokes gave passionate responses. It is also about graduating kids from our public schools with the toolkit that they need to get the job of their choice in today's global economy. 85% of the children are poor and black. There's not one member of the school board who is poor and black. Not one. On housing, Black Lives Matter activist DeRay McKesson and City Councilman Nick Mosby offered up their ideas. We know that a home is the best asset that people have, and we have to have mixed income housing, vouchers, and a host of other things to make sure that people have access to loans so that they can buy homes in Baltimore. For a working class or middle class family, your number one investment is your house, but also your number one opportunity for wealth and cre creation is also through your house. So we have to invest in our communities. A lot of time was also spent on police reform and criminal justice. So the specific question of analyzing which arrests were illegal that's hard. It is a case by case determination and it requires the bringing of a lawsuit to determine, you know, whether the facts in those case, then that case justifies the city paying, making a civil payment, an award for that person. The community review board has to be beefed up right now. If, if there's a something that comes out of the community review board, the major only has to read the read the statement. They don't actually have to act on it. So we need to make sure that they have the power to act on it. You divide and conquer. That's a specific way to change workplace cultures and that's how to get it done. The candidates spent more than an hour on the stage with the debate wrapping up around 9 o'clock. Debates for Green Party and Republican candidates were held earlier this week. Reporting live from Morgan State University, Vanessa Herring, WBAL-TV 11 News.